Hey there, YouTubers. You know how you make a youper chick really, really happy? You take, what? Well, no, no, she's a grown woman. You don't take her anywhere. You accompany her to Ikea. That'll make a youper chick really happy. And then when you're done here, she'll be happy for the first 10 minutes when you're at Costco, and then you'll want to start pushing people with your cart. But we're at Ikea oh, in on. Columbus. You know you're going to get pizza. I might get pizza in Ikea. At, not Ikea. We're going to get meatballs here and ice cream, probably. But we're going to go to Ikea. We don't know if we're going to buy anything, but some people love just going to Ikea for a few hours. And we might go look at RVs later. We'll see. We do go look at RVs at the end of this video. So many that there's a part two and three. And this is the new Ikea vegan hot dog. Their other one is disgusting. This one's just blah, which is an improvement. And their ice cream is always good. All right, we found some useful stuff at Ikea, mainly these bags. I love these bags for a buck. All right, we got these go. We got a set of four bowls, plates, and big plates. They were 87 cents each, and they're like Corel. I really like them. Um, they have a bit of a, a slope to them, so soupy stuff might do well. And then the back is a little textured, so it feels like it'll be non-slip. So for 87 cents, I think if you're in a van or an RV, these would make for great plates when you go camping. There's no um, ridges or anything, so they'll be easy to wash and that kind of thing. 87 cents each, 86 cents, something like that. Let me see, hold on. Correction, correction, these were 79 cents each, so that's a really good deal, 79 cents. All right, YouTubers, the second way to make a youper chick really happy because when you get done at Ikea, she only spends 60 bucks. You go to Costco. I admit I like Costco, but it's hard not to think of idiocracy every time I go there. Kind of like this Santa Cruz, but please don't call the vegan police because I did eat a whole $10 Costco pizza. And I don't feel guilty. But All I right, should. here's what we got. These are trash cans. They were on sale at Costco. Uh, I think they ended up being like 12, 15 bucks a piece. Boom chicka pot on sale, always. And also at Costco, we picked up this Duracell 2000 lumens light. It is uh, tri-powered rechargeable. So it's got a little panel on the top. You can plug it in to charge it, turn it on. Very bright, little less bright. Lay less, less, less bright. And it's got red. And uh, you can also charge things from it. There's a little port on it. And it was $20, half the price that you can see these on Amazon right now. So that was a very good deal. I tried to stop myself in it because I have a problem with these kind of things. But the voice said, it's too good a deal not to buy. So we bought it. All right, YouTubers, now we're continuing on to go check out some RVs. And I want to talk about the last video I posted because I think this is going to be out of order and be posted next. Um... For me, it's getting more views and it's getting more thumbs down, which I guess is pretty standard. When you get more views, you get more people thumbs down. And so, all right, I had to pull over because, you know, okay. So the last video got, all right, now we're plugged in. We're going to try this again. Maybe this is why my videos get thumbs down. But so I, for me, I got a lot of thumbs down and there's one of two reasons. Um, the video quality wasn't very good. It's it's hard sometimes to do a good video when you're reviewing an RV, and especially when you're not trying to do an in-depth. And then the other part might be because the video was kind of negative because I know a lot of people out there do RV reviews and they tell you how wonderful and great all these RVs are. Yeah. But the problem is, is, is when you try to do a video that's realistic for people, the RVs we have to choose from are not the greatest options. Seems like in America, all they want to do is make them big and charge you $200,000, $250,000 for a van. Um, I think when you do a review of something like that, I think you owe somebody watching it a little bit of the truth, you know? If you look at European models, we've done that in the past. You get on YouTube and watch reviews of European models. Their RVs are just far superior to ours. And way cheaper. And way cheaper. Like, you can buy a nice one, European, 
for 60,000 euros, which is about equal conversion rate right now. So it, it gets very depressing when you're trying to find something. And then when you look at the RV reviews where everybody is all sunshine and flowers and telling you how great everything is, and then tell you $220,000 like that's a normal thing. Right. Sometimes doing a real review for real people, like we consider ourselves real people, in most places in this country, you could still find a decent home for that kind of money, you know? So I, I think if I was to buy new, I would probably just buy a shell and try to do it myself. Or if I wanted to spend some money, I would go to that guy on YouTube, that Humble Road guy. At least his stuff is built well, you know? You look at a lot of these things they want $200,000 for, and they're crap. Sorry, America, but do better, you know? And if you're an American saying some other country or area is doing something better, well, that's going to make people bad because nobody's better than the United States. But when it comes to RVs, I don't know, man. I don't know. They just seem to have better build quality and better ideas. So, that all said, we don't live in Europe. And we're considering getting new RV. And like I said before, I love my van. The Voice loves her van, but it just doesn't work as well for us anymore. We don't want to travel in two vehicles because our animals don't get along. Now, I might keep my van, the one on the left, the 99 Leisure Travel, because it won't get what I think it's deserved, and it's still pretty good shape and useful for weekends and stuff like that. But the prospect of trying to find something to replace it with is equal parts frustrating, disgusting, and, and just anger invoking at what they want and the prices they want. So excuse the rant, excuse the ramble. Seems like most people agreed with me in the last RV searching video I did, but a few did not. And I don't mean any insults if you own one of the things I badmouth. It's just for me, I don't see the value in it. So again, I apologize ahead of time. I've always considered myself a positive person, but maybe RV searching just brings out the worst in me. So I'll go back to the live rambling, and here's to hoping that we find something that says, maybe next year this would be what we would buy, because we're not buying anything this year. So we're looking now, and I've said this in a couple videos, I don't think we're going to be buying anything soon, but we're looking. In 800 feet at the traffic circle, take the second exit onto Lackey Old State Road. We're going to take the second exit. So that's just my bit of a ramble. If you got anything to say to either agree or disagree with me, G. Oh, sometimes she Exit has a voice. Circle on Delacky Old State Road. She has a nickname. Old State Road for three miles. Oh. <laughs> she has a nickname of the voice, but also I have a nickname of G for her, and that's between us. So if I slip and sometimes call her G, it's okay. Um, inside the onion, G is not the initial of her first name. <laughs> so it has a totally different meaning. So anyways, we're going to go show you some stuff. Um, we looked online and this place has a Lexington. I've seen them from the outside. You've seen them from the outside. Yeah. But I don't think either of us have ever seen one inside. No. So we'd like to see just to see if that's something on our option list. And you were saying, when you watched the video, when we were talking about smell, you wanted to talk about that. Oh, sure. Um, I have, uh, it's kind of weird, but in the past, I had some issues with chemical sensitivities, one of which was formaldehyde. And I'm very sensitive to it. If I'm exposed to it for very long, I get a bad um, bronchitis infection and it was pretty debilitating in, in my past. And so I, I went to a specialist in allergies and I got diagnosed with it and uh, they told me what to do. And one of the things that I have to do is stay away from new um, automotive builds or whatever. So typically if I get something, like 
when I bought this car we're riding in, it was three years old and it's fine. But I just, I can't be in something that's actively off gassing and some of these things it makes you wonder if they ever stop off gassing. Right. And that said, you know, some of us all love the new car smell, but just because like she's sensitive to it, that doesn't mean it's not harmful to the rest of us who aren't as sensitive. You know what I mean? Yes. So she kind of liked the canary in the coal mine kind of thing. <laughs> no, serious. There's a lot of people like you that are sensitive uh, I to guess, it. I guess so. But and yeah. those of us that aren't think, oh, that's no big thing. It's just a smell. Sure. Well, it ain't good for us in either. Half a mile, turn right onto US 36. Exactly. So in half a mile, we're going to turn. And then we're also running back to Costco today. And maybe Penzies if we need spices. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. But that's it for now. That was a long ramble. And next we're going to try to hopefully show you some RVs. Maybe we'll have a little po more positive attitude about the ones we see today. But if we don't, it's not because we're trying to pretend to be positive. We're still going to be realistic. And Absolutely. For those of you that don't like people being realistic and sounding a little negative... I'm sorry, I should have went. Like I said earlier, we looked at a lot of RVs and we videoed a lot of RVs. You're gonna see the first one here at the end of this video. Then, like I said, there's gonna be a part two and a part three of a lot of videos that hopefully you'll agree. Now we'll go back to the stuff I said at that time. All right, just wanted to say, we found a few things that were interesting. I don't know that we saw anything we would buy. And again, trying not to be Debbie Downers or whatever. Um, I think the, the saddest part was we really wanted to see that Lexington. And we didn't get to see it. Um, maybe we'll find one somewhere where we can look around. Because there's some B-pluses used ones that interest us. But it's a good morning. We spent a couple hours looking at pretty much everything. And now we're going to hit Costco up again, return something, buy something else, and spend money. I told you at the beginning of this video, make a Uber chick happy, take her to Costco. Accompany her to Costco because she's a fully functioning adult who can go wherever the F she wants. Um, but we're not going to go back to Ikea. No. No. So no, no this might be it. Hopefully this video is a little better. Quality wise, because she was handling the camera most of the time. So, hope you enjoyed. And if you're looking, maybe we gave you some assistance here without making you sad and depressed about the tough options out there of trying to find an RV. Until the next video, have a great and wonderful day. Well, before the great and wonderful day in part two, I figured I'd show you at least one RV. This is saying this doesn't have much off gassing. This is a the bathroom. road trek. So. Yeah, this is a road trek. Wet bath. That's nice. I That's like that. That's not bad. Now, I've always Let's been one who hasn't... I haven't always said the nicest things about road treks. Because I bought a leisure travel. That's what we got here? And it's a refrigerator. Decent sized fridge. This is made really well. It's a small freezer. Well, Road Trek had some problems and they came back. I mean, like it has one induction top. Look at this here. It's a sink. Nice. Kind of small, but it's not bad. Cabinets. Decent cabinet. That's good cabinet. That's good storage space. Good sized drawer. Well built. You're right. I think these are well built. Small little thing. Then you just run into the strange bed situation. But, you know, if you want to make it a permanent bed, you can do that on your own. Small little thing. Two USBs. Cabinet. The latches in those. The latches are nice. These are, this are is small. Great. This is shorter than either of our vans, though, too. Yeah. Maybe. And then the same cabinets over here. But, no, I think leisure... Definitely skinnier. You would have to sleep north-south in this. You're not going to sleep east-west. But 
good for you, Road Trek. You've improved. And my first happiness is it's not on a Mercedes. All right, so we're going to go outside and see what else is going on. I don't see a price. There's a 30 amp placement and the outside water hookups. All right, when I was reading the comments, somebody also suggested a truck camper, which is a good thing, but it doesn't work for us any better than what we have now. First of all, you gotta buy a very expensive truck, and then you're in a small space again, and our only reason is our two animals. But we're gonna see what we can find around here. There is a leprechaun. We also are not big fans of slides. Love the idea of a slide once you open it, but then you worry about them not working. There's an echo with the top. Open. Oh, there's a born free. Have to check that that one out. It's a little bitty one. 